All right, you guys. Timestamp. Let's get started. I think we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna see how many I can do tonight. In order, I kind of want to jump ahead a little bit. I kind of like or not jump ahead, but get ahead in terms of videos produced. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see how many I can do. If I can increase my speed and lower the length of video a little bit, I think that might actually help me get through some. So we're gonna see. So um, this was not expected. This was not something I was actually going to do tonight um, or today. But um, Keymaster Games was super sweet. Jennifer and the team there, I like them a lot. And they sent me a copy of Caper Europe, the retail edition. This is not the Mastermind Deluxe, I think is what the fancy version is called. But this is the retail edition of the game, and I'm excited to check it out. So because it's here and because it's new, um, I want to open it. And I'm still going to do at least one video tonight of games I got because I kind of want to jump back to that series because I feel like that gives good context of the games I have. Um, and I want to keep doing that, so I'm going to keep doing that. But this is Caper, so I'm opening this up. Mm. Alright. If you have not heard of Caper, this is Caper Europe. This is a new version. Caper was originally done by Keymaster as well. But this, I actually know surprisingly little about this game. Um, all I know is that I typically am very impressed with the production of stuff from Keymaster and I'm interested and I know that the team is very passionate about Caper so I'm excited to check it out. Once again, I think they might use the same production company that, uh, yeah, I think they might use the same production company as Stonemeyers, so I think this might be that same factory. Um, very nice quality uh, box. If you if you if you have parks, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but so rule book, nice. These are the monetary tokens. Monetary tokens. It's kind of I mean if it plays similar to Caper, which I've played before with Alex, then. Um, these kind of go back and forth and having ownership of them can be important. Scoundrels, welcome to our underground society. In your hand lies 10 coins from our secret currency. Punch out these newly minted scoundrels and recycle the leftover chipboard for the good of the heist. So recycle those. Let's see what else is in here. So this is the caper board. Quite long actually. Um, cause this is a, uh, this is a two player game where you play across from the board. If it's the same as what I believe, um, the original was so long, nice board there. This is like a trifold one. Yeah. I think it's a trifold four pieces, thief cards, reference cards, nice thick card stock. Um, they always have really nice inserts that kind of organize everything, which I appreciate. Got some little tokens here. Little guys. Whoop. Little guys. And a little gold caper. And then let's see, this insert here. I wonder if it's possible that I'll be able to upgrade to the deluxe if I want to. Because there's some extra spaces that look like they could fit pieces. Or maybe that guy's supposed to go there. Oh, that guy nestles in there. That's nice. These guys go here. This is why I love organizers, man. Oh, it's so satisfying. Um, I wonder where the... I wonder where these are... Oh, these slot into here. This is like a felt insert. I'll see if I can let you guys see that. There's like a rigid or lined felt insert. I'm just gonna slot these in. I know that you, that maybe you don't care, but this is very satisfying when there's like specific places for each coin. Um, that's really satisfying. One of the most satisfying coin set like component add-ons for any game, I think, is Sorcerer City. Those coins are very satisfying. So those slot in there, 
These are like gym, um, very thick, uh, sturdy wood pieces with all of the different types. So um, all the different types of artifacts or um, I'm trying to remember, I think they're artifacts, but I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to see somewhere in the rules. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so those slot in nicely. Then it's got a section for every single type of card in the game. Also very satisfying. I love good organization. My, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but like my favorite store to go to and just be ultimately satisfied by stuff is Container Store. It's a delightful place. Have you ever been to Container Store? I'm wondering if, if you have. I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to slice into that without doing anything to the cards. And now I can't even get into my own cut. I can't even get into my own cut. You know what? No. Timestamp. Oh. So, yeah, I guess I would talk about this game more if I knew more about it. I played one time with Alex, and honestly, it was during a day of playing a lot of games. So I don't remember too much. I just know that it's a heist game where you essentially assemble a team of people and use their benefits or their powers to help you like score gear and um, acquire capers and you slot them and you kind of fight over different locations. Um, so, you know, you'll have certain locations that you play like, and it alternates every time you play. You can go after different destinations. And then you send in teams to those different destinations, hopefully leveraging their powers at those locations to great effect. That's kind of the plan, though, is from what I, from what I remember. Um, all right. That was really quick. Um, but, yeah, Caper came in. I'm excited to try it. Um, we'll see what my wife thinks. She's normally a go-to person for me for two-player games. Uh, yeah, I, I really I don't know too much. I haven't played enough to be articulate about it, about the game. But I'm very excited, very appreciative that they sent this to me. You know, the back of the box actually does a pretty good job of planning the heist in terms of the locations. So each of these three spots in the middle are locations in Europe. And then on either side, each player positions their team and they create a heist based off of a group of, you know, con artists, thieves, burglars, all that kind of stuff. And the values that they produce in terms of numbers and in terms of uh, abilities are kind of, it's like area control or zone control, really more like influence influence control in locations. And so there's some cool different combinations you can create here. So Caper, excited to jump into it. I mean, that was quick. I don't even know how long that was. Timestamp, timestamp. Um, okay, let's keep making videos. P Peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself getting ahead of myself. I need to do a thumbnail. I want, for the thumbnail, I want this guy. I want this little gold guy. I have to put that back in so it gets out of the way. Put this here, I think. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to go look. And then I think that'll work. I think that's a fine thumbnail. A fine thumbnail. It's fine, I say. A fine thumbnail. All right. Peace.